Welcome friends, welcome back to the AWS Solution Architect Associate Exam Preparation Course. Here we will see all the questions with the real-time use case and decode the answer for the AWS Certificate Exam. So the next question is, which of the following protocols is not supported with an elastic load balancer? So the options are, Option A HTTP Option B HTTPS Option C RDS Option D SSH Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 so the right answer is option B and C, RDS and SSH. Amazon's ELB supports the following protocols, HTTP, HTTPS, TCP, SSL. Let's move to the next question. So the next question is, CRR replicates every object level upload that you make directly to your source bucket. Which of the following also forms a part of that replication? So the options are Option A the object metadata Option B is the object ACLs Option C the object's SSL certificate Option D the object's checksum encryption data Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds 5 4 3, 2, 1. So the right answer is options A and B the object metadata and the object ACLs. CRR replicates every object level upload that you directly make to your source bucket. The metadata and ACLs associated with the object are also part of the replication. Let's move to the next question. So the next question is, can you use IPv6 with Amazon S3? So the options are, option A yes, option B yes, however you need IPv4 to IPv6 translation software. Option C yes, however you need IPv6 to IPv4 translation software. Option D no. Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is option A yes. Using IPv6 support for Amazon S3. Applications can connect to Amazon S3 without needing any IPv6 to IPv4 translation software or systems. Let's move to the next question. So the next question is, You work for a genetics company that has huge datasets stored in S3. You need to minimize storage costs while maintaining mandated restore times that depend on the age of the data. Data 30 to 59 days old must be available immediately. And data greater than or equal to 60 days old must be available within 12 hours. Which two of the following options below should you consider? So the options are Option A S3 RRS Option B S3 IA Option C Glacier Option D CloudFront Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 so the correct answer is option B and C, S3, IA and Glacier. You should use S3, IA for the data that needs to be accessed immediately. And you should use Glacier for the data that must be recovered within 12 hours. 
S3 RRS would not be a suitable solution for irreplaceable data. And CloudFront is a CDN service, not a storage solution. Let's move to the next question. So the next question is, how quickly can objects be restored from Glacier? So the options are, option A within 30 minutes, option B within 1 hour, option C within 2 hours, option D within 3 to 5 hours. Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 so the right answer is option D within 3 to 5 hours. You can expect most restore jobs initiated via the Amazon S3 APIs or Management Console to be completed in 3 to 5 hours.